I think most of those feelings will be saved for after the game. I think that when it's game time, it's game time, and I'm not going to be thinking about my, uh, you know, my sob story of the last two years. That's not, you know, my job is to go out there and punt the ball and, and do my job. Um, so I don't think there will be those kinds of emotions, um, other than the fact that I get the opportunity to play in the big house. So, which is special. You're joking when you refer to it as a sob story. Well, I mean, I, I think everybody's heard the, the yeah, deal yeah. over and over, so I'm not going to be sitting there on the bench thinking about what happened the last year and a half. You know, uh, we have a game to win, so that's, that's my job. Initially, in the first part of your sob story when you, you were suspended, did you stay away from kicking, or did you go to kicking as, a, as something to...? Um, no, I, I still kicked quite a bit. Um, it's not, you know... Uh, with or without the opportunity to play games last year, it's something that I love to do. We all have hobbies and, and things that we're passionate about, and that's, that's what I'm passionate about. So it's something that I did just because I think it's fun. So, Would you say this place has helped you grow in some ways? Uh, in some ways, in, in every way. I mean, I, you know, I came here uh, my freshman year as a kid who maybe at the time didn't know, but I needed to grow up. I needed to learn a lot of things. And... Um, I think where I'm at now is just a testament, like I've said before, to everybody around me, to my team, to the administrative people, um, you know, Dave Brandon, Coach Hoke, um, believing in players. And I think that if, you know, they understand if you, if you go through the process of, you know, coaching these kids in life and football, you're going to win games. So they, they were more worried about getting me better than they were winning games, and uh, that was special to me. So... Um, I've definitely made some good changes in my life.